The other day I saw a photographer stealing a piece of bread from a kitten and I asked him why he does it and he said it's because AI is better than him and God knows that and there's no point even trying so it doesn't mean if five of them sent me their photos I wouldn't look. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. <laughs> I suck at placing things right. I hate you so much. If you want to be on the show, please reconsider that. And let's just get to the next question. Not accepting any more of your loser shots. Angry cows. Interesting. Why are they so mad? Oh, what did you do to them? They're so evil. You're not even vegan. That's, that's bad. They can sense that, I think. Interesting. Panasonic G9, of course, with a TT Artisan 7.5 mil Tony 2. And you wish. That's a 2.8 wishful boy. The Lawa version, yeah, you might have had something, but don't lie to me. You're lying to yourself. God knows that. It's an okay shot. Uh, it's awkwardly tilted for some reason, but I don't know. I just have to assume that one of the cow tried to eat you. Yeah, that's right. When I was there, the cows had a reason to be angry. There was a butcher, and they were like, what the hell is that? Is that Steve? What are you gonna do with him? He, are you just raising us for food this whole time? You've been petting us in the morning. I thought we were a team here. And then one of us will disappear, and we're like, where'd he go? What the hell is this? You eat us? I'll eat your dick. Okay. That's an interesting little comparison there. So he's saying I don't look like Tom Cruise. That's rude. But I do look like Kevin Bacon. I'll take it. I'll take it to the bank. I don't know, man. Uh, you're reaching here for any of those comparisons. That's clearly Tom Cruise over there. But like, I'm there. Kevin Bacon. A lot of good movies, huh? Am I right or am I wrong? Those are good movies. Good B-level movies. Oh. God, why? The sharpness of it. The, why do you do it? This is the Sigma look. And a lot of people like this. Like, it's so sharp and edgy and out there. And they're like, wow, this is so contrasty. And like, people like it, I guess. But that ain't normal. It's not natural. It's like too saturated. If you look at the sky, no sky is ever that blue. You slid things in your little light room. I hope you get locked in a room with no lights. It's just ugly. It's funny that that was taken with such a low megapixel A7S III. It's like, you could crop not. No, you can't. It falls apart hard as soon as you start zooming. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I misread that one. Sigma zoom. Bullshit. I'm not editing this. You lost that privilege. All right. We have a wave. Never seen that before. I like the color of the wave. Feels manipulated. Why is it so different than the background water? Seems like you did something unethical to it, but whatever. Fuji GFX 50S2. Not bad. 50 megapixels. It's okay. No lens? You didn't use a lens for that? Oh, darn. Wow. Cameras are that good these days, huh? Thanks for telling me nothing. I hate you so much, but you spent too much money for that shot, guaranteed, and you didn't even capture the little dog that was surfing. He's trying to catch a wave, man. That's the shot right there. Like you're waiting for a dog to come in and he came. Photographers never wait because they're desperate. They get to a location and like, oh my God, there it is. Oh, I got it. And then they walk home while the dog is like just walking with the surfboard. It's like, wow, I missed that because you're desperate and cranky. All right, last shot here. I think this is the definition of no 3D pop. Like you can just, it's hard to even tell that you're at the top of a waterfall and it's going down. You could be on the bottom floor for all I know. And then there's just some weird artifacty water on the right side. There's no like depth to the scene. If you would have void landed your way through life on this one, you would have seen like, wow, that's so far down there. Couldn't believe it. And you should have framed it better. Like get over it a little. Something's off with this whole thing. You knew that. And you sent it in to a show anyway. He said he lost a testicle crouching to get this shot. Was it worth it? 
sounding like Alvin from the Chipmunks. When I went to that waterfall, I noticed that there was a shark waiting at the bottom and an Olympic diver just inspired from the recent Olympics, even though the opening ceremony was satanic hell, she noticed that, uh-oh, that there's no points at the end of this one. I'm not being rewarded for this. I'm going to die by a great white shark. How did they get there in the shallow creek? I, I did not foresee that. There was no signs saying, warning sharks. So she died and you died. Photography died today. How could anyone win this show? There's, this is gonna be the first show with no winner. You got angry cows, it was okay, but like you betrayed them and ate them after. It's like you're a crook and a liar. And then like the Tom Cruise guy, come on. Kevin Bacon, you didn't take the photo, they're just screenshots. The lizard, is Sigma over sharpened lizard guy, give me a break. And then a wave, wow, a wave. And then you didn't even capture a diver going into a shark's mouth. Oh God, you all suck so much. I hate this show more than anything I do. I'm gonna give it to the waterfall guy in hopes that he goes back there with a better lens and captures some 3D pop. Cause if the lens was different, you didn't just cheap out with your kit lens. You would have had something there, but you didn't. And your friend died by the shark, rightfully so. And may you replace your testicle with this award from today's show. You won. You won a better testicle. Guaranteed upgrade over whatever the hell you were packing. I gotta find a way to get those in my shot without covering it. There's no practical way, but I'll leave after Bitcoin donations enter into my body. And you subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. I hate this show so much.